This is Natalie Kay coming to you live from the Woodview Robotics Room. Breaking news, coral reef is dying at an alarming rate. 60% of the Earth's total coral could disappear in the next 30 years. The whole marine ecosystem is being threatened by a loss of our reefs. We are going live at the scene to our reporter in the field, Natalie G. Natalie, what's the situation? Thanks, Natalie Kay. I'm here off the coast of Florida enjoying the beautiful scenery. And what's not so beautiful is what's happening right now beneath our ocean. Coral reef is an underwater ecosystem. Reefs are formed of colonies of coral polyps held together by calcium carbonate. They're known as the rainforest of the sea. It's actually a living organism, and it's dying. The human population is contributing to the destruction of our planet's coral. Things like pollution, climate change, disease, invasive species, and bleaching. Every time a person steps on a piece of coral, you are killing an organism that has been growing for the last 5,000 to 10,000 years. Thank you for that information, Natalie G. More on the situation. The Woodview Eagle Bots robotics team is very concerned about the coral issue. We're going live to our man in the field, Nathan G. Natalie G's twin brother in the robotics room. Nathan, what's the Eagle Bots plan? I'm here at a typical Woodview Eagle Bots practice with team supply manager Brody and Zachary. Brody, how can robotics can help the situation? Well, Nathan, according to our research, one of the biggest factors harming coral reefs is called coral bleaching. Coral bleaching is when the ocean water gets too warm and the coral ejects algae that lives in their tissues. This makes the coral look completely white. Once coral bleaches, it doesn't die, but it gets more stressed and eventually it can die. The main cause of the water warming is global warming. We talked to an expert at the Coral Restoration Foundation. They shared some issues they feel would benefit to the help of robotics. We put our heads together and we've come up with a robot idea that we feel would help scientists who study coral bleaching. Using a photo transistor, our underwater robot will be able to detect how much light is being reflected off the coral. This is very similar to the toy robots that follow black lines. This data will be useful to scientists that can then take steps to try and repair the damage and stop the process of bleaching. So, to make it more clear, when ocean water heats up, algae leaves the coral. This is what causes bleaching. In conclusion, coral is dying due to the rise in ocean temperatures. We feel confident our robot can detect this process by measuring the change in the amount of light that reflects from the coral once it begins bleaching. We realize we cannot stop this global issue. Climate change is the real problem and until people decide they want to change, coral will be at risk.